Well, good afternoon, everyone. All you, I'm coming back. Cause all is all, all is all is well. Hello, and good afternoon, and good evening to everyone, and good morning to you, Steve, and anyone else who is joining us from so far away that is basically the the next day, where we haven't even finished our day yet. So it's very exciting on this spontaneous session. I wasn't even sure I was going to stream something today, but you know, I'm I'm so glad that you're all here. Very exciting. So welcome. A spontaneous session because I had a thought of doing some more work on the intro title sequence that we just saw. Uh, nothing major, but I thought this morning that the camera pan that we saw when when the camera is kind of behind all the movie theater seats, I'm kind of faking zooming in there to the full scene. I was never quite happy with it. So this morning before we went to Julia's physio appointment, I went and had a little play, made the animation another 100 images longer and uh, recreated that, that camera pan so it's now a little bit softer going in. My computer has been busy rendering that and so I have a few images there and I thought perhaps we're going to take care of the lobby. Not so much the outside, I think I'm happy with the outside for now, but the lobby, that could do with some good pictures. And Mr. Rod Shelley from Independence, Missouri has sent me some a while ago that we could use for that purpose. So I have your three, Rod, so that is, that is cool. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. And um, I believe if we look at the scene, I think there's about seven or eight spots for images. I don't know how we're gonna how we're gonna really do that, but I'll 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 have a look. You know, we'll, we'll all we'll all stick with this together. Thank you so much, Joe. I have received your wonderful Christmas card. Here it is. This is it. Merry Christmas is Christmas, it says. And it has happy wishes on the inside. So thank you so much for sending that. I really appreciate that. Very cool. And while we're on the subject of um, Christmas cards, this is Julia's brother. He sends us a Christmas card every year. So this is very exciting. They have a little dog, Vespa. And, you know, this is, this is them. This is Phil. Very exciting. Super funny photo. I thought, you know, super exciting. He doesn't know he's on YouTube now. So, uh, but hey, he'll, he'll find out the hard way. I, I, we always appreciate cards like that. It's very, very nice. So thank you so much. They, they shall remain in the background here as we, you know, as we get going. So there we go. Oh, I, uh, I was just rambling, Christina. So I hope, yeah, I hope you haven't missed anything. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope audio is going out. There we go. Let's take a quick gander at that animation there. And this is the blender. This is the this is the desktop. Can we see that? Oh no, we can't. That's not so good, is it? So let me go back to my camera quickly, and then I'll fix whatever the reason is for us not being able to see the desktop. Oh come on! You'd think you've done it all, but there's there's always there's always more to do. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. Where's the desktop scene? Desktop desktop is this it? No, that's not it. No, that's not it. That's no. Oh, that's that's good. What what was that? That's that's exciting. Woo! Awesome. Hey, there's a, there's a button for me being able to do this without having to do this on air. I believe it's called the studio mode button. So let's, uh, let's just try that, try that. Perfect. And now I'm going to figure out what the desktop thing is and why it doesn't come up. Screw it. This is it. This is it. And it does that. It's cool, isn't it? It's that second webcam I've got up here. So, what do I need to do again here? Why is this not? You'd think it's all set up so I can just press a button and go live, but no, that's that's never never the case. What is what is this then? Display capture. There we go. So it should should actually it it should it should theoretically totally work. Come on, let's do this and let's do that and then that does that and no, that doesn't do that either. Huh. That's, that's even more fascinating. Cool. So OBS stopped working. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, let's try again. Let's try again. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, come on. That is my display. Go capture it already. It has something to do with window and display capture. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I've got, I've got one more. I've got one more thing I can try. I've got one more thing I can try. And that is when I go in here. Oh, we might as well just go do that. And then if I'm, so this is, this is my desktop. No, it's not my desktop. Why is it not my desktop? 
because this is not actually giving me any feedback. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? There we go. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. So, you know, yeah, there we go. Finally, finally, I've got it. That is that only took twenty five minutes. That's not so bad. Unbelievable. There. Yeah, you saw Blender. I didn't see Blender. Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. There we go. Now we all see Blender. So the, the thing I was referring to while I was rambling is this at the end here. So I've tweaked the keyframe from here. I believe it was on frame 1300. And I've tweaked it to go on to frame 1500 now. And then I've tweaked the camera so that we have a smooth pan going straight into this scene. And then we're going to rest on that. So that's going to look much better uh, rather than having that dissolve there from... Uh, from the 3D images to the actual 2D scene. So that's what I've fixed this morning. And I've rendered everything from here, from this frame, 1032, up until, and this, Christina, is now going to be the devastating conclusion of the number I've typed into Discord. I've rendered everything up until frame 1219. Sadly, it doesn't move anymore, but, you know... <laughs> Trust me, it's 1219. And I wanted to type that. Oh, that's a good start, isn't it? And I wanted to type that into Blender and then quickly save the scene so that I know which frame needs to be the next one. But my keyboard was on the other monitor and I typed return and, you know, that was that. Was that. Blender, thank you so much for coming back here. I like that. I like that. So, yeah, 1219. That's, uh, that's, that's the next area that I need to render here. But we are concerned, I'm just going to go take that camera off the thing. We're concerned with these movie posters in the front here. Let's go and switch this on so we get a little bit of a, a little bit of a, too many buttons, Steve. That's exactly what it is. Get a little bit of a texture preview here. How was everyone's Christmas, by the way? Have you all had a wonderful time? Have you had holidays? Are you off between Christmas and New Year? Some people like to take some, you know, some uh, some extended holidays there. It's always good. There we are. These are so I want to leave the outside as it is. They are technically posters here, but because there's reflection in front of them, I'm not going to touch those. There's also the material here that we can take care of. There's also this turning this into geometry, but I don't think I want to do any of that today. I think I'm going to keep it really nice and simple and just go and do these posters in the lobby. So we've got seven up here. There's an eighth one here. There is technically one here, but that's outside of a uh, field of vision. And then there's a ninth one here. We can double them up like they've done that here in the real scene. So we only have one, two, three, four, five, five different ones, six different ones. Well, these are six, aren't they? Six, seven, eight, yeah. We have those, but they're doubled up. There's one here that's the same, and then there's also one there that's the same. <laughs> good point, Joe. That's a very good point. <laughs> and you're off permanently. That's that's a good point. How is the recovery going, Steve, by the way? How's it going? Are you... Recovery is just a terrible word. There's, there's, there's only so much recovery you can, you can really do. There's some things you can't recover from. But how are you holding up? How's, how's, the, how's the ticker doing? And how's the, how are the people at the hospital doing? Uh, Christina is in hospital right now, I believe. So uh, great that we can all come together once before the year is over. Hopefully we can do it um, once or twice more. That'd be kind of good. Yes, we also had a very quiet time. We had a we uh, had a little dinner with our neighbors on the twenty fourth. But since then, we've literally been here and just going. Ah, that was that was very nice. So let's see first of all how I can actually how I can replace them. I've not looked into these textures yet. Let's start with the the guy at the top here. I'll go over to the shading tab in which we also need to see a bit of a, we don't need to see the rendered view, but I think we need to see that. That's good. Ah, there we go. Uh, 
and then that is that and i guess if i change that to this then that changes okay cool so that's that's how easy it is to change that we just bring in another image with the same or similar aspect ratios and then we should we should all be good glad to hear it steve glad to hear it Yes, how long are they keeping you in the hospital now, Christina? Can you, when, when you get the TPN, do they send you home afterwards or do you have to stay there 24 seven now? That would, that would seriously suck. Oh my God, that would be really bad. I hope it's not that case. So um, let me just go on to my other computer where I'm gonna grab these images from Rod and put them somewhere else on my desktop because Discord is over is open over there rather than not Discord. It's the it's this here. That's cool. I'm going to make a new folder there. Movie posters. And then we're gonna go and grab this. Download. View array. Oh there we go, that's cool. Let me just go and no, that's not how we want to do that. What a shame. Download, yes. Ah, yes, okay, that's how we do that. I'm not quite familiar with the whole OneDrive interface, <laughs> but it looks like it's working okay. Download, did you download this? Yeah, good. Download and download this. Rise of the, the Soth. And you've also sent me your first Blender render rot. That's very nice. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So we have the green one, Rise of the Vsoth. We've got the blue one, a production from Tin Cup Studios. And we have the one where your character's holding the lamp up like she's the Statue of Liberty. Those are the three pictures I have. And let me go and put that into that. I'll be back with you in one moment. Uh, this one, that one, and that one. That goes into here. And then that, I believe, is that how it works? that goes over here and then we go copy that too many buttons too many operating systems and if by magic i should be able to say paste haha <laughs> there we go that is kind of cool this is the magic of this this logitech setup that i have here it's a piece of software that runs on both the mac and on windows and uh, <laughs> maybe i should show you maybe i can show you this Yeah, so it's a piece of software that's on Mac and on Windows, and I can hold control down and slide my mouse over to my Mac, and it has it has now full control over my Mac, and now I can go and pick something on my Mac and literally right click and say Control Copy, and then I bring the mouse back onto Windows and I'll go and say Paste, and that is now copying the thing across. It's, it's seriously magic. It is, I always wanted to do a video on this because it's seriously cool. This has kind of, you know, copied over. This is Rod's first Blender render. All right. <laughs> it's a picture. It came out of Blender. That's not an easy task, I gotta tell you. If you're new to Blender and you see the interface, you're not entirely sure, you know, if you're, you know, who, who, what your name is or what you need to do in order to get a picture out of it. So, you know, this is an achievement, I tell you this. Um, you know, yeah, there's so much more you can explore. No donut, no cube either. I saw the, the saddest movie that I believe, Christina, you posted this, um, a link to the second channel of CG Matter in there where he was explaining the plugin about the, the making the face. He has a CG Matter popular YouTube channel for Blender stuff. He has a thing, a second channel called Default Cube. And oh my God, it is, the, it is such a cute video. He's made a video with a default cube. It's, I'm not going to give away the ending. It's only one minute and 30 seconds. But you know, it's, <laughs> it's such a sad video. I've got to tell you, it's, it's, it's nice. So, um, but the other pictures that Rod has sent me, are in here and these are them so this I like that's very nice and it does look like a movie poster with the stuff at the bottom here rise of the Versoth 
and those are all promo posters for his uh, for chapter seven of the girls from TNA, of course. That's one. Then this is this one, which is also Rise of the the Soth. So it's obviously a big movie that's coming to whatever theater we're in. And then there's this one here. So those all have a good uh, aspect ratio. I think I may have to just fiddle with the with the UVs a little bit to to make them match, or they'll just be squashed. But we'll see how how big an impact that is. But that's three. <laughs> that's terrible, Christina. <laughs> The poor default cube. Yes, absolutely. I couldn't quite believe that either. Because default cube, that's the new channel, right? And he's got 10,000 subscribers already. That's unbelievable. It is some people just gain an amazing amount of traction on, on YouTube. Stephen Scott, what's, what's his latest subscriber count? Let's, let's have a look at that. Stephen Scott, Scottish Blender Tutorials. That's great. Like, love that channel. Absolutely groovy. And last I checked was about, he had about 2,300 or something. Steven Scott, let's see how many he has now. That's not him. That's him, look at that, three and a half, three and a half thousand. That's thousand more than literally a week ago. That is seriously crazy. Yes, he makes amazing tutorials in which he just, um, Hasn't quite taken care of his homepage yet, though. But he has amazing, just introductory four or five minute pieces on uh, on how to use certain of these um, uh, modifiers and, and uh, add-ons. This one I was particularly interested in, the B-Tracer. I'm thinking of using something like that as part of the title sequence for Creative Minds. So having the, having the brain from DAS drawn like that with the B-Tracer and then, you know, just having that having that drawn while that turns and then we zoom in at the same time previous terrible but you know it's uh it's it's great there we go default cube maybe i'll show you this default cube yeah this is his his second channel this is the channel exactly 12 videos ten thousand subscribers unbelievable hey Subscri guys welcome back to another default cube seat yeah, there we go <laughs> Yes, and uh, if you, uh, I believe, if you're not subscribed, I think the default cube trailer runs here. That that's the the short movie. So it's a very very funny movie. There we go. <laughs> I know numbers are just are just crazy sometimes, aren't they? Oh, actually, yes. While we're while we're here, uh, I want to bring up one. I want to bring up one of my own pictures for the um, for the thing. And that is, is that my gallery on Renderosity? No, that's just the regular gallery. Where's my gallery? Gallery. I'm here, so there we go, gallery. <laughs> uh, yes, I want to bring up my one of my pictures, which is, um, which is uh, this one here from Control. That also doesn't quite have the right aspect ratio. And I don't know where the original copy is, but yeah, this is the uh, picture that wasn't actually rendered as such. This this just came out of the control game with the, um, I forgot what it was, the Ansel type render. So we're, I'm going to use that one as well and just copy that into that uh, movie posters thing. Give it a slightly more exciting title than zero d three nine one five f zero zero uh what was her name again jesse i think there we go it does doesn't it and it's real time so this was this was animated in 60 frames a second it's very 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 exciting stuff where this is all going is going to be slightly crazy so the whole movie posters thing i'll just leave that on the desktop and have Blender worry about the image packing. But this four images, we need another four. If any of you have any that we want to feature in the title sequence, let me know. And I will uh, send me a link via Discord or in the chat and we will see if we can get that going. In the meantime, let's see if we can at least bring in one, which, you know, I'm slightly confused that I'm seeing this guy in here Whereas this whole window thing under the shading tab is not quite linked to 
whatever I'm clicking on, which is a shame. I wonder if that is working. A default cube movie poster. That is an awesome idea, Brian. Let's do that. That is a great idea. We'll do that. That is that's perfect. I can also see something like 3D shenanigans in here. That be I mean, but although that's the move. That's the movie we're watching already while we're going in. So maybe that wouldn't be shown. Hmm. Oh, thank you so much, Christina. Very good. I have indeed done that. Let's go to external data and go unpack. Uh, use files in current directory, create when necessary. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so now that they're unpacked, it still does that. So I suppose that's not really, that's not really changeable, is it? Yeah, I think, yeah, that's true. I can just go here and, or actually rather here, and then pick another one that I can have a look at. But ideally, what I would love is, I don't know, click on this or click on that or that and Blender be clever enough that, hey, you're looking at this node. You probably want to see that picture rather than the first five characters of the file name. That would be really cool if that and that could be linked. Is that possible? Can that happen? Is that possible? I mean, I don't really, I, I'm more concerned about the file name is sometimes cryptic and I just like to see what this is. That'd be, I mean, I suppose I could go and just go and uh, copy this and I guess paste that in here and then say return. No, that doesn't also doesn't work. It's just something like for humans, you know, where you click and something appears. That always appeals to humans. <laughs> Probably in the next update. I suppose it's because this and that, they're two different, I wouldn't say viewports, Viewports is the wrong name, but but this thing and that thing, they're not linked. So I can turn this into anything. I can turn this literally into a 3D viewport if I wanted to. Um, and so this has doesn't know what I'm doing here. So I suppose that was an image editor, was it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so maybe maybe there is a way to kind of, you know, cleverly link that and that. Click on whatever that is. If that has a texture in it, display it here. It's what humans like. Anyway, from left to right, let's go and first of all open. Yeah, we do that here, don't we? Do we do that here? No, we don't. Do we do that here? No, we don't. Do we do that here? No, we don't. That's terrible. Isn't there an old? Well, there we go. Cool. There we go. That's, that's what I was looking for. Open image. There we go. So desktop movie posters. Is it here? Oh, yeah. There. Totally didn't see it. Let's use R. Let's just go from, you know, from here to there. There we go. Rise of the Vsoth. That's cool. So I think with that selected, I then just go and and pick that from this menu. Is that right? Is that right? Ah, oh, Columbia. There we go. Ha ha! And there she is. Rise of the Vsoth. The outsides are a little bit cut off so we'll worry about the sizing of that in a moment i'll just drop in some some images here perhaps the second one then i can just go open the image here as well can i yeah i can just go do that here right away unless it's easier for me to do it here yeah i think i might do that so that's that i'm also going to open that and i'm going to open this Okay. And then I guess if I wanted to look for something, can I just type? Yeah, that's that's convenient. There we go. I might just leave this and replace that because that's kind of the, the most bland of them. I like the legs, black and white. That's kind of cool. I like this, either that or that, but let's let's replace that because that doesn't really speak to me that well. Um, and then, what was the other one that we had here? 
See, I've already forgotten what they were called. Chapter 7, there we go. Okay, so both starting with CH. CH7, post uh, 2. And then let's see if we can find uh, one on the wall there. Because that's Office Girl as well. Um, um, okay, what's with the timeline here? Timeline is freaking out. There, that office girl. <laughs> of course she is. <laughs> uh, that is also... No? Doesn't want to work in this case. Why not? Oh, there. That maybe. Actually, I like I like this. This is a very it's kind of a strong picture. I think I like that. I think I like that up here and this over here. Let's do let's do that. Let's do it the other way around. Put that here and then that uh, up here. That that's cool. I like that. So then there's one more that is here. That's the one with the legs as well. Oh yes, and we have the Sarah poster here as well. I, I like, kind of like the Sarah poster probably more than the shopping cart poster here. So let's see if we can swap those around. Um, that doesn't have a texture assigned. How can that be? Yeah. Let's see if I can find it in the list here. Road to you. That's not it. That's it. I thirteen MT movie poster zero one JPEG. Okay. I like it. So um I'm going to leave the legs here. Leave the legs here and change it over here. Or leave the legs here and change that poster over here. What do you think? Yeah, it could be that. I don't really know. Or maybe I'm just not on the right material. That could also be. Hard to say. Hard to say why that is. Uh, maybe I'll leave the legs here and just replace Sarah over here. So that was movie post uh, zero one. Okay. Movie post zero one. There we go. Perfect. Okay. That's nice. While we have this here. Uh, that's actually okay from afar. I like that. Uh, that's whoops. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh. Uh, that needs to be reframed. And I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. This is kind of a little bit out of my. Uh, The, which one is that? Which one do you mean? Which one should I change? Just swap these around? Yeah, put that in the middle maybe, right? That, yeah, I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that too. Let's do that. No, all good? Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, okay, the left, right, okay. Now, in order to, without touching the image, I could just uh, fiddle with the with the UVs here, right? I think. I'm not entirely sure how to do that though. Should I go to UV editing perhaps? And then go and uh, see if I can make that happen. Uh, 
that's it. And then I just scale this way or that way, right? That, that should do the trick, right? Uh, Node Wrangler, I have heard of it, but uh, okay, see you later, Steve. Thank you so much for dropping by. I appreciate that. Thank you for your well wishes from the future. Yeah, I just thought I'd go and select this. I just go S, X, and then I go, uh, hello. I just go S, oh man, no, there we go. I just go S and X, and then that does that. I thought, you know, that's that's the only thing I can feasibly understand about <laughs> about UVs. And if I were to have to, uh, yeah, I think that's that's fine. The logo, we're not really worried about the logo. It's too far away um, anyway. And then this just needs to be kind of squashed down a little bit. We may have to do that with this as well. But here I'd, I'd like to be able to read the whole uh, thing. So, uh, so, so there we go. Uh, edit mode that scale the whoops hello scale the x is it x looks like it is x there we go boom i want to actually while i'm while i'm here Let's do that. Oh, really? Like numerically, with no, no, no wrangler. Eh. It's so difficult, Christina. I'm, I'm not good at learning new things. It sounds really complicated. It also sounds very powerful. So, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying it may just be too much for my, my brain. So. That puts everything and the whole text in the window. Captain Slaymore! Good evening, Captain. How are you? Good to see you on such a spontaneous note. Merry belated Christmas, may I say. We're just replacing some movie posters in that little title sequence animation that I've made there. And we have room for more. So, you know, if any of you have any more portrait images that we can use here, uh, let me go to layout and have a look what we have so far. So we've replaced, I think I need to have another crack at this here. I can see that that's, you know, a little bit, uh, I can see the UVs kind of creeping in from the other side. So I'll have a look at that in a minute. But we could replace this one, this one, and that one. Oh, and then we need to take care of this as well. And uh, yeah, we could also replace this one. So we have room for more. If any of you have portrait images that look a little bit like a movie poster that could be in here, send them over. <laughs> That's very funny, Christina. <laughs> Don't ask me, but I hope you do well. That's very clever. And uh, let's have a, let's take care of this. Uh, 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 like uh, that, yes, and then like that. See, I can't even properly see that. I only saw that when it was far away. How interesting. Well, I think I can see that this is kind of the problem. There, yeah, that should be fine with that. Um, so then. Uh, 
Oh, at least the bathrooms. Look at that. I didn't know we had bathrooms in here. How cute is that? Don't judge them by the carpet, but yeah, there's bathrooms. How exciting. That is very cool. Uh, yes. Um, right, there we go. <laughs> I could just hide the wall, but hey, I'm, I'm lazy too. Unbelievable. Super lazy. There. Let's take care of the aspect ratio on that. Like so. The frames actually, I'm, I'm just changing the, the UV on this. So it's the, the frame is a different, um, that's a different object, I believe. So uh, I'm in edit mode of this thing now. So if I were to go and deselect that and kind of select the frame, this is now the the frame. And this is kind of a kind of a hack way of, of doing it. Uh, so I wouldn't want to touch these so much. Uh, so the, the the image itself was just a plane. So it's kind of easy to to just tweak the aspect ratio either via x or via y but yes you're right there are different objects so the the um or different they're just different polygons rather than objects it is gross isn't it yeah it's very gross we could all i mean it's out of vision but if you, if it if it gives us all comfort we could tile the bathroom <laughs> Let's tell the bathroom. We don't even see it, but every time we look at the title sequence, we now have a vision of the of the bathroom, and we we all go. I can't go there. I can't go. It. I just can't. Yeah. So maybe we should do that. We should uh, look at that. It has a door and everything. So yeah, we should uh, we should go through it and and tile the bathroom. Yeah, that right. I mean seriously, that's just that's just what were they thinking? I don't know if it is carpet. I think maybe it's just, you know, plastic. It does say tiles here. I think there's just, are they just not defined? Is that how it works? Yeah, these are the, these are the tiles here. <laughs> and let's see, I mean, we have, uh, We've got the extreme PBR, I believe. We also have the the basic um, the basic thing. Let's see if we have any tiles. Fake glass, facade, Fresnel, gobstopper, marble. I mean, at least we can use marble. That's that's one thing. Let's see if we have tiles. Or we, or we can do extreme PBR, we could do that. Do we have tiles, tiles, tiles? So that's, that's nice. Look at that. Pick a tile, any tile you, you pick, like black and white, it's good, can do that. It'll be so small, perhaps it's gonna work. Why don't you, Christina? Come on, let's do this. Tiles, black and white. How about this? Light blue and dark blue. That's that's a good tile. Let's pick that. See, can, I, can I remember how that works now? I needed to, I needed to switch things on, wasn't it? Oh, there we go. Anything except for that. That's perfect. Under tile, and I think we just do this and go. Boom. Is that how it works? Yes, it, that is how it works. Look at that, that is very cool. So all we need to do now is, is maybe have, do something with the UVs, like 0 0.1, it might work better. Could also do totally the opposite, maybe 10 instead, no. That didn't work, reset. Hey, it's better than the tiles that were in there before, right? So they're not the right size. I mean, they look, you know, it looks better than it did before, even though I can't remember how to, how to 
as it, um, because I'm in edit mode, do I need to do I need to do this and then then do that? Oh yeah, that's how. Ha ha. Okay. Yes. Look at that. Large tiles. We can even make them smaller. Zero point zero five thousand. Yes. There. Ha. Oh, bathroom tiles. We've tiled the bathroom. We're never going to see the bathroom, but we've tiled it. That's going to be good. Shall we put some? Shall we put some graffiti on the inside of the doors as well? Rod was here or something. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, let's leave it with the tiles. I like that. It's good, isn't it, Joel? I think so, too. I'd like to see that in my bathroom, actually. That's nice. So next week, we're going to fix the fact that... They, oh, look, they have toilet paper holders, too. That is, that is attention to detail. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, next week, we're going to take care of the, the red stuff here. Stalls, they could probably do with something else. But hey... Since we're not going to see it, let's not worry about it today. <laughs> so, so far, we're not touching the outsides. We're just going to do the insides. I like those posters. I like those posters. I was even thinking, Rod, we could do... Why don't we just... You like the tan better. <laughs> I understand, Joe. I understand. We could even, I, I saw your uh, post yesterday about the cat. We could, we could have that featured. I mean, that could be a movie. That was portrait, wasn't it? Let's put that in, Rod. Let's do that. I like it. In the renderosity gallery. Uh, how do I do? I probably get there from here somehow. Rod S. There we go. Perfect. I like it. this what do you think that could be conceivably a movie poster why not i like it let's do that if you haven't seen this this is on uh, on i was call it kitty this is on renderosity and now that i look at it close like i haven't seen this yes i've only seen this yesterday on my on my phone i can actually see that you've drawn this with with a ballpoint pen, right? That's that's cool. Ballpoint pen and good old fashioned uh, on paper. That's good. Ballpoint pen. I get a veto here. Joe is against the cat. Not the cat. I think it's kind of a I, I, because uh, it, it makes more sense when you've read what. Uh, uh, what Rod put here in the description and it is I'm totally with him there. It's one of those things sometimes you just go and say, hey, brain does not compute. So <laughs> I kind of like the idea that this this could well be a movie poster. You know, let's let's put it in and just see what it looks like on the uh, from far away. I'm thinking it'll look better than this, for example. Do you know what I mean? This looks more like a movie poster. This is kind of, I, I kind of, I like the idea. See, that's what I'm thinking. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I think we go into here. I think we go into here first. And then we bring it in. I think we can do that straight from here. And that was in movie posters kitty there we go kitty um All right. I can see that working. Do you know the original? Frame the original, Rod. Have we taken care of the aspect ratio on this poster here? I can't remember. It looks like we have. I just can't remember. I just can't remember. There. Okay. Oh, you don't like cats? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. All 
Well, then the other thing I've already changed uh, earlier this morning was just the keyframes for the camera here. Oh, come on. What's, why is this not going smooth anymore? So we have a smooth zoom into the screen now rather than the thing that I've made up, which was a mixture of the 3D animation and the, uh, and the actual 2D file in Premiere. So I, it always annoyed me that when we look at that, it's not, it's not quite as smooth as I would like it to be. And now the camera just moves in there straight like that. And then we're stopping on here. Yeah, I think I might, I might like that. I, I like that. It's, uh, I am, of course, having second thoughts already. I think I've, I've put the camera in a little bit too far. I should have panned it up a little bit to the top. But since I've already rendered the images from about here to halfway there, I think I might just leave it. And now I'm looking at it. The S is a little bit um, far at the bottom. I would have kind of liked for that to be a little bit higher, if you know what I mean. That would have made it perfect. Good evening, Mr. House. How are you tonight? Thank you so much for joining us from YouTube. I love it. And Merry Belated Christmas. Glad you could make it. This wasn't a planned um, happening, as you can as you as you could tell from my rambling. <laughs> but I think I've done everything that I wanted to do, unless we wanted to just make this. Oh my God! Yeah, I, I know. I know me. It's, I'm not. I'm always going to look at the gap between here and compare it to over there. Yeah, okay, let's, I, I, I get you, I get you. So let's move the camera to here. And is it really that important? Yes, yes, it is that important, isn't it? Let's now move. Let's move the camera. Let's go lock the camera to the view. And let's go and just move this whole thing, not so much up like that. That was not what I wanted to do. But, uh, but up like... Up like that yeah see this is this is kind of what I'm what I'm looking for yeah so I'll have to render everything again but hey that's okay zoom in there just a little bit further yeah that's that's okay I think I think we'll I think we'll be happy with that Maybe, maybe a little bit further to the top, like so. Yeah. There. That's it. Hello, Seven. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Welcome to 3D Shenanigans. There we go. I think I'm going to go and um, and save that. Save that as Cinema 20. Oh, actually, also before I save it, let me go and pack the files again. So I'll go pack all into the blend file. Good. Now we're going to go packed 129 files. So if I do that and save it now, it lets me pick this up as one file with all the referenced files that were on my desktop on my two render nodes and then they can go crack overnight and then I can go and uh, render uh, large parts of the sequence again. Let's see if I can work out from where from we need to start rendering that then. So it's the entire interior that we're interested in but the exterior we're okay with so I'm not going to touch that. That'll save me a lot of render time. So the posters, they come into vision round about here. Literally about here, 269, 270. I think maybe we can then start there, 270. Let's do that. 270. So everything else is, is rendered more or less. Then this needs to be re-rendered. And actually, since we haven't changed this picture, we can call it a day as soon as we're out there. So it's until 6.45. That's cool. Until 6.45. So that's one portion that needs to be rendered. That's, that's nice. Let me go save that. And the other portion, 
then starts uh, from this keyframe here and needs to be rendered to the end because I've only started uh... oh did I actually no look at that I haven't I haven't hacked in the keyframe man that is stupid isn't it let's go do this again from here let's go move the camera up to about here that was silly of me wasn't it let's go zoom in just ever so slightly there like that I totally forgot to set that keyframe so that's on here there now that's locked in and now the camera will end here again like where I wanted it to perfect okay let me go save that one more time <sighs> hello seven that is so nice of you to say thank you so much it's a uh, it's a pleasure to meet you yes absolutely uh, keep watching if you do have any questions drop them in there uh, in either of the comments or in the chat no problem i do see all the comments and i respond to all of them uh, it's nice to meet you it's very nice to meet you and also thank you so much for uh, subscribing there god i forgot who it was now Thank you so much for your subscription. Prince Price, I, it, it flashed up so quickly I didn't see it. Sorry about that. Thank you so much for watching. My friends, uh, I believe we're already at the end of a wonderful get-together and a wonderful party. I'm going to go and have this start rendering. This will be done on my two nodes, this little gap here and this from here to there. I'm going to have that render on this machine overnight. And I guess uh, tomorrow is another day. We could, tomorrow, we could have a look at the last portion of Superliminal, if that's a good idea. It's Saturday. It's kind of a gaming day. Let's do that. I, I, I think we should. Uh, there's, there's several more, hopefully not so annoying levels to go. I've watched literally after we, we stopped last time, I've had a look at uh, somebody on Mixer who has played that. And so I kind of know what's coming, but I don't know how to do it. I just had a visual look at how he did it. And that was very interesting. So we're more, we're in for more surprises there. Hopefully we can finish it off. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful time overnight and into the morning. I think tomorrow, 4, 5 p.m., I'll be back. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.